The simplest way to fade out in GarageBand is to tap on settings in the top right and tap on fade out. The problem with this is you can't tell GarageBand where to start or end the fade out. So you will get something that sounds okay, but you won't get any control. Let's take a listen. That's for sure. That's for sure. And the other problem is if you've taken my advice and giving yourselves a couple of bars at the end, yeah, it's not going to work at all because it's going to fade out down here. So the best way is to use automation. Let's show you how. So I've opened another project here and what I want to do is fade out these instruments at the end. So to do that with automation, I first need to tap right here on the icon and tap automation. I now need to slide on the edit option in the top left and then tap to add my points. I want a point here towards the end and then one right here at the end. And then I need to slide off in the top left so we don't add any more points. Now let's grab this end point and drag it down and you'll see there that it creates this curve going down at the end. Now at the point of doing this one, there's a bit of a bug here in GarageBand. You can see there that sometimes when you add these in, it doesn't actually go down. There is a little hack for this, and that is that if we turn on our points here again and add a point in between, just tap like that, now when we drag our playhead, you can see it actually goes down. So I don't know what's happening with that one, but if you come across that same error, just add another point in between. Let's solo this and take a listen to this fade out. For nothing! Perfect. And hit done to jump out of automation. And to add the fade out to the rest of our tracks, all we need to do is once again, tap on the icon, tap on automation. And now what you can do is actually do them all at once. So we slide on our edit points. And let's say we want to make sure that these three tracks all fade out. We just tap, tap, tap. Tap, a tap, a tap. -a. We tap, tap and tap, and then again, turn off in the top left and then drag all three of these down. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can adjust these afterwards. Let's just check that we haven't got the same bug. We do. So we'll slide on in the top right here and do the same thing again. Just add a midpoint there to correct this so that it's actually going to slide down at the end. Let's take a listen to this whole track now with its fade out. Thanks for nothing. Perfect. Now let's look at a fade in and you're probably thinking, that's great if you've got four tracks, Pete, but what if you've got 32 tracks? You don't want to do that and you're absolutely right. So you can either export all of these as one single wave file and do the automation on that or you can use the merge function. Let's show you that now. Let's tap on any of these tracks and tap on merge and then select all of the tracks that we want to merge into one single WAV file. That goes down to here, and you'll notice once again, there's a little bug in this current version that shows that one here in the middle. Let's hit the merge button now. And what that has done is all of those selected tracks have been merged into one stereo WAV file. And if we play it, everything's there. Now you're probably ahead of me, but if we tap and tap on automation, we can automate this entire stereo wave file now. Let's slide on in the top left, tap the points in where we want it to come in and go out, tap our fade out point there, turn that one off, and then drag this down and drag it down at the end. It looks like we don't have the bug this time. Yes, no, we do. So let's slide on again and just put a little point in between there and a point in between there. And this time, yeah, it's going to be perfect. So let's now fade in this track and take a listen. Perfect again. So there you have it, easy fade-ins and easy fade-outs here in GarageBand using automation. You can also use the fade-out there, but remember the limitation. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. You can check out more GarageBand five-minute tips down in the description below, and I'll see you next time.